Well hello there and welcome back to another episode of FAQ Fridays. Today we're looking at two extremely common questions I actually get asked on a daily basis. How often do you feed your gecko and how much? Now if you've seen my other videos you'll know that I have answered this many many times before and yet I'm frequently still asked this. So beyond this point I'm not answering this question from anyone anymore because there's now no excuse. This whole video is dedicated to it. Okay, so first off, how often? This varies on age, so 0 to 6 months is every day, 6 to 12 months is every other day, and over a year is every 3 or 4 days. Next, how much? In all honesty, this definitely varies from gecko to gecko and by owner's approach. So, some people will say, see how much they eat in 10 to 15 minutes, and usually once your gecko is full, they'll leave the food alone. This is fine, but there are some geckos who will eat almost anything you put in front of them. When it comes down to actual numbers of live food per feeding, this varies too. So live foods such as crickets and waxworms, I've been feeding my geckos for years. So I can happily recommend 5-8 to eight crickets per feeding and 1-3 to three waxworms per feeding. It's also very important to note that giving your geckos two to three large crickets does not make up for feeding them five to eight appropriate sized crickets. If your gecko is small, you should not be feeding them prey that's too big for them. And remember, waxworms should only be fed to geckos over the age of six months and they should be fed as a treat. So I'll usually give them to my geckos every two weeks. And if your gecko is refusing to eat, don't give them lots of waxworms because this will just worsen the situation. Now, the other live food, I've only recently been feeding my geckos, so I don't have the exact numbers myself. So I looked online to see what everyone else said, and this is what I found. Millworms. So, some people say 5 to 10, some people say 10 to 20 per feeding, so yeah, that helps. The best thing to do with these is either put some in a bowl and see how many your gecko eats, or, if your geckos are like mine and they don't even acknowledge a bowl, then add one mealworm in at a time and see how many your gecko eats. Usually my cutoff point is about 10. Dubia roaches. Now I'm new to these and I've recently only been feeding nymphs to my geckos. Their bodies are very soft compared to the adults and they're definitely not as strong as the adults. Only a few very large leopard geckos are technically able to eat the adult dubia roaches without any problems. As a rule of thumb, food shouldn't be any bigger than the width between your gecko's eyes. Looking online, once again, people seem to recommend 5 to 10 or 10 to 20 nymphs. So I feel I've listed three of the most common staple diet foods and one treat style food for your leopard gecko. It's still debated the exact amount of live food per gecko per feeding, but I think this is because every gecko is very different. And if you use the numbers I've mentioned as a ballpoint figure, and see how your gecko goes, that's probably the best way to do things. A few last things I want to mention, these things aren't debated on, they're pretty much things that you must do. Uh, firstly, dust your food with calcium powder and a separate multivitamin powder. I've had to say this so many times and for people who listen, I know you'll probably be sick of hearing me say this, but sadly I still get people contacting me because they didn't even know their geckos needed supplements. They really, really do. They need two separate powders, usually given to them separately as well. But you can see more information about that in my metabolic bone disease video, which I'll put a link to in the description below. And secondly, live food has to be gut loaded. So you can use bug grub, bug gel, fruit, salad, basically nice nutritional food for your insects so when your gecko receives the food it's nice and healthy. Also on the topic of feeding, I would like to say that I really do not agree with these videos you get on YouTube where people have basically ignored their gecko's health just for some views. Um, so you see them feed their geckos live mice, massive roaches, praying mantis, even their own tail. I mean, it's disturbing, it's so stupid and completely irresponsible. So if you're a new gecko owner, don't look at those videos for inspiration. It's just horrendous. But you know, that's my opinion on that one. Okay guys, well I hope you've liked the video and I hope it has cleared up a few questions for you. If you have any more questions regarding food, I've probably answered it before so go and check out my other videos and you'll probably find an answer. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.